Hello everyone, so in this video I'll be showing you how I built this training interval timer. Before I start building, I'm just going to lay everything out. So I'm using a 22 inch display from Noel Monitor. I'm then also using a mini computer. Now I've got all the ports facing outwards so you can access them better. Now for sound, I'm just going to be using two speakers which I uh, pulled from a speaker set. To power everything, I'm just using two power bricks. One of them is to power the computer and then one of them is to power the display. Now that I've mapped out where everything is going to go on the back of the display, I can now build a frame that goes all the way around and for that I'll just be using some custom wood. So I ran into a quick problem while cutting these and um, that was that the wood isn't actually the same width across the whole thing so I'm going to quickly run it through the table saw and then continue with the cutting. Alright, so that there took a bit of trial and error, uh, just going back and forwards, cutting that wee bit off every time. Now I just did that so I can get a perfect fit, because this is really important. Um, but now it's pretty much as perfect as it's going to get. So now I need to screw this here together, glue it, and then I can start on something else. <laughs> Alright, so I've just finished putting the frame together, now I did a quick fit with the display and everything fits perfectly, so the next step will be getting a piece of custom wood and cutting it out to the same size as the frame, so that then can go on the front. Now after I've done that I'll run you through how I'm actually going to hold the display inside of the frame. Alrighty, so I've cut out my piece of wood, so what I've done is marked out the inside of the frame and I've also marked the size of the display, so I've excluded the bezels. So the plan will be to cut out the middle of this and then use a router to router around an edge and that will allow this piece of acrylic to sort of just slot in and to actually hold that acrylic in I will be screwing this to the frame and then the screen itself will sort of just butt behind the acrylic. So the next step will be cutting out the middle. Alright, so the middle section has been cut out, um, I also cut the acrylic out. Now when test fitting this, I realised there are some um, we raised edges here where I must have lifted up on the router, so I'll go back, take those off and then I can continue on building. So 
So I've got the display, the acrylic sandwiched um, between the frame and that's all just being held together with clamps. So this is temporary so I can lay out everything and figure out where everything is going to go. So I decided on the computer being in the corner here. Now I'm going to route out a slot in the wood and this is just so you have more access to all the I.O. there. The other reason is um, this computer is quite close to this plug here and I don't want that being bumped. So routing out um, a slot here will give me more clearance for everything. Now all the power bricks and cable management will be underneath the computer so this will be raised about 50mm off the monitor. Now the power brick or the, um, the power box will be at this end. I'll drill a hole in the wood and run the cable out the back there and all the plugs can go there. Now the speakers I decided will be at the top so those will be on either side there and then the actual circuit board will be sort of put in somewhere. But the main reason I laid this out is so I know where to put in the bracing to hold the monitor in and I decided I will put the bracing over here and over here and I'll probably use um, some pocket holes or something I haven't quite decided but anyway that's sort of what the layout is going to be. Alright, so I just finished um, putting in the bracing. Now I decided to add these blocks to help cable manage and hold in the power bricks. So the next step will be um, mounting the computer and routing out a slot here for all this I.O. Right, so I've just finished screwing in the speakers. Um, the screws are slightly too long, so I'm just going to get the grinder and just take the tops off. I finished with the routering. Um, I've got both speakers mounted. Now I've also cut out the slot for the computer and all the I.O. Now the computer actually fits in perfectly, which means in the box itself I won't um, screw it in any way, it'll just be held in there by friction, which is good. So next step will be assembling it all back together, filling, painting, sanding and all of that, and then I can continue on with um, the rest.
Right, so I finished painting, um, I filled all the holes, I've done all the routering, so the next step will be to assemble everything together. So far I have put in the display, I have mounted the speakers, so the only thing left is to put in the fan, wire up the speakers to the circuit board, and then put in the computer, as well as just do some cable management. So the first step will actually just be wiring up the speakers. Alrighty, so this here is the final finished product, or more or less a prototype. Um, now, it does have quite a few holes and things that still need patched, and it's not 100% completed, but I might just leave it this way because um, depending on how things go, I might build another one, um, just because um, I sort of cracked the screen a bit, and um, the whole thing is very heavy and I could do quite a few things slightly differently as well as putting on a thinner bezel. But anyway, I'll turn it on and show you guys what it looks like. Now to turn on the computer inside, you just press the power button and then to control it since I don't have a keyboard, I'm just using this Wii remote and uh, this allows you to just move the cursor around. Now as you see, it's running Windows. Now I've downloaded an application here just to show you it working. So this here is my uh, interval timer, so as you see it displays your time, work time, rest time, all that stuff. Now since this is, as I said, a Windows computer, you can really use it for anything. Uh, you could play content on it, you could just use it as a normal computer, all that stuff. So now I'll just run you through what I'll change if I were to do this project again. Now, if I did this project again, one of the big things I would change is um, I'll take more care of the display since I sort of cracked it trying to put it in. The other thing is I would make the bezels um, quite quite a bit thinner. So here I used 18mm custom wood. Now if I did it again, I'll probably use 12 The other thing is I didn't quite know how much room I would have in the box, but after building it and sort of seeing it, I think I could... Um, cram everything in a bit tighter and that way make it all quite a bit thinner. The other thing I'm really not happy with are the hinges. Um, I definitely rush them which isn't ideal but apart from that I'm pretty happy with it. It works, it's definitely a proof of concept. So as I said um, I might build another one and if I do I'll definitely put a video up um, about it and all the different changes I would make. But anyway um, until then, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.